what's up guys today i'm gonna actually work on my own car uh per request from a couple of you guys messaged me on uh ig and uh facebook uh requesting me to do this video is actually to change out the ambient lighting actually put in an ambient lighting on an se model that normally comes on an xse xse model and uh, i'll show you step by step how to take it apart uh put the new piece in the little light bar and uh put it back all together without damaging your own uh trim that you ex existingly have so uh follow along all right guys so we're gonna start off with the panel right here this literally just pops out it's a little panel on the side it holds the dashboard all these trim pieces together there it just pops out very simple this is the piece a little vent i'm doing this close because it's very hot and i'm using the ac but basically i would start off by using this trim piece taking off this trim piece right here center s trim whatever it's called literally just pops out just be careful taking it out very simple has these little red clips that just pop out you just gotta be very careful with them so you don't break them put it aside once that comes off this whole piece this bottom section right here literally clips away same thing clips make sure you don't break them nothing bad happens you just gotta replace them afterwards and uh, the last thing is this AC vent together with this trim piece here you gotta take it off in a way that you don't take off the radio bezel it literally just slides off like that so I already have it connected but I'm gonna do it for video purposes to show you how it's done okay so in here there's gonna be, I believe, a glove box light or something like that. Okay, there it is. So there's this light that connects to a cable back here. There you go. So you gotta disconnect the cable. This piece comes with the kit. You disconnect the cable. And you connect this one and basically it runs the glove box light along that along with the ambient lighting light what i would do what i do what i did was i hid the cable in here that way it's not seen you actually mount the light bar on the trim and uh, it has this clips already built in. It's crazy because it has uh, everything built in. It's pretty much an XSC, but without the actual piece. And uh, this is how it looks under it. Uh, so this, when you light it up, when you turn the lights on at night, this actually turns on like a lot of light blue. It's just enough that it looks to look good right under the, the trim, see? It has even the opening for it and everything. Once you actually do put it in, you put it into the clips. You push in the wire all the way in as much as you can to make it sit flush. And you do everything backwards. Start from this side, push in the vent, and then line up all the clips. Just do a little push. It literally clips in. It's crazy how easy it is. See, so once it's in, it's 
in. And then you move on to the other piece. Do everything in reverse. Make sure, be careful the clips again. You do not want to break them. I've done this a couple of times. I have not broken it, but just in case, you push it in from the right. Line it up. A little push. And it should be, make sure it's snug. And uh, that's good. And the last trim is the S trim. For this one, I'll start here in the bottom and work my way to the top. It literally clips. This is really easy. It clips in. Just make sure the clips are lined up. It's in, and uh, I'll show you at night how it looks once the light is on, when everything is dark. How the light shows through the little bezel here. But that should be it. All right, guys. So this is it at night. See the ambient color actually actually matches the colors of the controls of the whole car. Sounds like a low, like a very light blue. It flows really good with the car. All right, guys, that's the end of this video. If you can please like and subscribe down below and uh, comment down on something you would like to see in the future on this channel. We'll try our best to make it happen just like this ambient lighting install for one of our uh, subscribers that requested it. And again, once again, thank you. Thank you for all the support and uh, it really helps all these uh requests are giving us ideas to do more stuff more content for the channel and once again thank you